What is going on guys, Vlad here with SolusPLC.com and today we're going to be answering a very important question when it comes to panel view HMIs. You see one right behind me and that question is essentially once you walk onto the factory floor and encounter one of these HMIs, how do you know what IP address it is actually using? How can you communicate with this HMI and essentially how can you get started programming a brand new HMI that you don't know the IP address of? So I'm going to be showing you two straightforward methods through which you will have a sure way to figure out which uh, IP address you can use and to get started programming your particular HMI. Let's jump right into the view. As you can see, I have a camera positioned to look directly at the HMI and you have a small feed of it. We're going to uh, increase that and we're going to get started on the video. Okay, so as you can see, this is the view of our HMI so it's a fairly straightforward and non-complicated HMI at this point you have a couple of different screens there's not too much going on but essentially you can log in you can log out the very important screen we're going to most often notice is going to be this system screen so depending on who has designed this particular HMI you should be able to find what's called a panel view configuration button so on this particular HMI this button is going to be right here sometimes it is protected through logins so you might be able to find the login information at the plant so you might ask your maintenance or engineering department for those uh, credentials once you log in you can hit this panel view config button uh, which is going to essentially bring you back to the factory talk view application through which you can figure out the IP so once you're on here you will see that the IP address is going to be in this bottom left corner for you you're also going to have the subnet mask and you're going to have the uh, details of the terminal itself. You're also going to have the current application uh, running on this. And if you want to essentially change the IP address, if you're going to use something different than what's already been installed, all you need to do is go into this uh, terminal settings button and here you will have a network. So if we scroll down, let's see here, network and communications. And then we're going to hit enter. And then network connections, network adapters, and then built-in Ethernet controller. So here you can select the IP address. You can go into other settings, but once you go into the IP, essentially this is where you give the terminal the IP address and you can hit this IP address, enter it differently. And once you hit enter, it's going to confirm that IP address and you can go online with the terminal. However, uh, let's go back. We're going to exit all the way to the front view. And the most common scenario is that you have a, so you have the application running, but you essentially cannot find that login button. And this is one of the most common uh, problems when you go out to a plant. Nobody knows the, uh, nobody knows the login credentials. Nobody can get you in. So if you need to get this information faster, if you want to get the IP faster, what you need to do is essentially a power down reset. So I have a breaker down here. What I'm going to do is shut it off. The, uh, power essentially is cut off to the to the HMI once you reset it so the power is put back on there's going to be a boot up sequence through which the terminal goes through and you will notice that at the bottom corner bottom left hand corner where you see my finger there's going to be this little a faint square and when that square appears you need to essentially press on it a couple of times uh, it's usually one but uh, it's not always responsive as you have seen uh, before so what I'm going to do is hit a couple of times on that square in order to be able to go to that settings menu so there it is and if you get it right what's going to happen instead of loading the application the terminal is actually going to um, so addition addition might be corrupted Let's go to continue. I'm not sure why that uh, why that gump came on. Uh, it looks like our firmware might have might have been had an issue with. But let's uh, let's see if everything goes smoothly. If everything's correct, our application should not load. We should be put into that settings menu, and we should be able to access the IP address settings of the HMI without essentially launching the application. So let's see here. There you go. So as you can see, the application is actually not loaded. It looks like the IP address has been reset. So let's go set that up really quickly. So what I'm going to go do is network and communications, hit enter. Uh, then I'm going to go into network connections right here. Hit enter. I'm going to hit on network adapters a built-in ethernet controller hit ip address and as you can see it's all set we all everything looks good we're not using dhcp i'm going to hit ok and make sure that the settings are saved on my terminal 
that's going to take just a second before it saves if this adapter is a PC card you will need to reset the device so it looks like it looks like something uh, went wrong during a hard power down of the terminal that being said what it told us to do is essentially reset it from this point on so we are going to reset the terminal and that should be that should uh, should save the IP address that we've changed. So every time you change the IP address on these terminals, and I believe this is because it's the older version, you do need to reset the terminal and um, allow it to essentially take the IP address. Uh, we're going to double check that in a second, and hopefully everything goes well. And we uh, essentially, once you, you set your IP address that you desire to go through, or if you've essentially just looked at the IP address in order to connect at the existing network, you should be able to reboot the HMI, be able to load the application, and everything should go back to uh, what you would expect. As you can see, that square appears once again, but we're not going to click on it this time. Let's see if everything starts up as expected. If um, if the IP took, it should be displayed on that front screen. If it didn't take, then uh, we might have other problems. But we're also going to look at the uh, different programs just to double check that everything is still okay, or we might need to download a fresh copy of the programs that were running previously on that terminal. So everything looks okay. Factory Talk View ME station is launching. There's no errors this time. I'm not sure why that came in, but uh, I'm assuming because of a hard power down, but um, that's usually performed the same way. As you can see, it is loading the application this time because the application is specified to load at start, but we're gonna go back and just double check that the IP address did take. Uh, this should be the same exact application that I had running before, but the IP address uh, should have been uh, we should have been able to change it through that square on the screen Okay, so if I go back into system I go back into panel view config I should be able to exit that once again And then I should double check what the IP address is on this particular terminal and as you can see the IP address did uh, Confirm so at the beginning we had a all zeros when we first uh, reset the HMI now We have the 192.168.1.20 and the subnet mask with uh, three octets full That's pretty much how you access the HMI. Thank you guys for watching and see you next time Thank you guys so much for watching my content. If you have any questions on this topic, make sure to leave them in the comment section below. And if you can spend five seconds of your time liking as well as sharing that video, if you've enjoyed it, that would mean absolutely the world to me. And if you have any suggestions for the channel, what kind of hardware software I should be covering, then make sure to leave that down there as well. See you next time. Take care. Bye.